but we're going to talk about the different licensing, the kind of the structure of the, the licensing. Uh, you have an office manager license. It's an essentially a system admin license. Uh, it gives you access to the entire system. You're able to make changes within the system. It kind of gives you the access to do whatever you need to do. One big advantage you'll notice with this system is everything's in one place uh, and everything flows very easily. Uh, so it's much, much simpler to manage this system from like an IT management perspective. Uh, it's also much easier to use it. Um, call center supervisor license uh, gives you access to the call center functionality, including reporting, agent activity, queue activity, dashboards, agent queue management. Uh, and again, everything's in one place. You don't need a separate login for Mac supervisor and a separate login for Mac communicator. It's one place and you can see and do everything from one place, which is really nice. Um, office extension, that's your person that works in the office all day, Doesn't not really part of your call center group. Uh, your accounting people, you know, it's people that just use a, use a company phone all day long, but they're not taking direct calls. Uh, that's your, what we call just our, our basic office extension. Uh, if, if you want a CSR uh, capability, employee, somebody that, you know, can take those calls and be in groups and queues and also be able to manage their activity, measuring reports and, and tracking their, um, you know, their KPIs, their calls, you know, average talk time and those kind of things, um, then that's what the CSR, CSR extension is, pardon me. Um, and the CX, CSR extension is added to the office extension. And then you have a technician extension. Um, it's an employee that's in the field full time, uh, does not take or receive calls in the office. Um, so that, that's the, what the technician extension. Um, we have an assigned extension with the 10 digit direct dial number. So these are some of the features you get with each extension in the system. Um, you have individual text and SMS enabled for it, you know, for the DID. So each extension has a direct dial number that comes with it. And then you can also have that number can be textable. So people can text you back and forth without having your cell phone number. Uh, and, and that's a pretty nice feature. Um, you have desktop, soft phone, tablet, mobile clients. All of those are enabled within this extension. Um, and then you have simultaneous ring options. So you can actually be logged in with your desktop, your cell phone, and your uh, app on your cell phone and have all of them ring simultaneously. So you can get up away from your desk, leave, you know, hop in your car, drive. As long as you're logged into the mobile app, you're, you're going to function just the same way as you would if you're sitting at your desk. Uh, another nice benefit of that is kind of as an emergency backup. Uh, if you're, if you're a lot of remote workers, even in the office, if your power goes out, um, as long as you have a cell phone, you know, uh, connection and your phone is charged, you log into the mobile app and you're fully functioning at, at the same level as you would if you were logged into the cell phone or using the desk phone. Uh, same goes with an internet outage. outage. So it's a really great backup feature. Uh, we do not recommend that our, our agents use the mobile app as their primary method of utilizing the system. And you can run into some challenges if that's what you're using, you know, predominantly. But it's great as a backup and it's great when you're out in the field and you need to stay connected to the system. All right, uh, and also web and video chat uh, with each extension. So all of these features come with each extension. Uh, the technician extension, you have a couple of options with the technician extension, and this is basically designed you know, for technicians, uh, but it could be any employee that, that spends the predominant amount of their time out in the field. Um, like I mentioned, it does use the data channel uh, of the cellular service, and um, all the calls are recorded. Every call in this system is recorded in and out. Uh, the customer can see the company number instead of the tech cell phone number, so we can do call masking. We can actually make it any number you want, uh, but we can have when your technician calls a customer, the number that shows up on the customer's phone is your office number. Um, they have an extension, so they're just another extension in the system as far as dialing and management. Uh, if you are the person that's managing both the cell phones and the office phones, uh, you can manage them all in one place. Um, and then the web and video chat for internal communications. So the technician extension is a pretty solid uh, you know, option, but really the, the ideal solution is what we call tech mobile. And again, you get the technician extension and you can either go with the, uh, the, the mobile app which is part of the technician extension or the tech mobile. Tech mobile is a, a kind of revolutionary thing we've developed recently where we actually become your cell provider. Um, so instead of having Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile, we would be your cell provider. Um, we would provide you with the SIM uh, or we can also provide you with the SIM and a new device if you need new devices. Um, the benefits to this is one, one big benefit is you can click to dial from within the Pest Pack software. You know, with the mobile app, uh, you have to copy it 
you know, and then paste it into the phone. This basically makes your cell phone truly part of your phone system. And there's no difference in the cell phone. Your technician does nothing different. It's just, it's whatever cell phone you have, it's an Android, it's an iPhone, it works the exact same way. Uh, but with it being connected to the extension, all the calls are recorded. Again, it's extension dialing, we can mask the caller ID. It gives you the ability to manage the phone with the one system. But the biggest thing is with the mobile app, you have to make sure employees are logged in to use it. So if you say use this when you call customers, then you have to make sure they're logged in. And then you have to run reports to verify that they're doing it. With the tech mobile, there's no choice. That is the phone and there's no way around it. They can't stop it. Uh, it's not an app they can log out of, it's the phone. So, uh, and, and that's a, a really good feature. Uh, AT&T is the primary carrier. There's a logarithm built in where if AT&T signal coverage drops below a certain level, T-Mobile jumps in as a backup. Um, so those are the two options there. So I want to talk a little about the office manager login. Um, the office manager, again, is like your system admin. Uh, they can see all the call company calls coming inbound, outbound. Uh, they can access all of the areas of the company. Uh, they can masquerade as other employees. Uh, and they can see and manage all the system features, set up, maintain everything. And then they have full access to the system inventory. Uh, that login license is included with the system. Uh, your customer service supervisor login. So this is the person that manages the call center, uh, gives you access to the whole, all of the call center features. You can manage that. You can see and manage the queues. You can see and manage the agents. It gives you robust call reporting on demand and scheduled. Uh, you can masquerade as call center employees. Office manager, you can masquerade as any employee in a company. The call center supervisor can masquerade as call center employees. And by masquerade, I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that, but you can basically log in as them and see everything as they see it. Um, it gives you the ability to listen, coach, and barge. Uh, you have access to an instant dashboard and then also a Snap Analytics with customizable scorecard. So those of you that are running reports now in Altigen, I think you're really gonna appreciate the difference because as you'll see, it's much easier with this system. And then the CSR extension. So if somebody's got the CSR extension, uh, they can see their own performance. They are part of call queues. Uh, they can see their own call history. They can manage their own answering rules, uh, their own messages. But the main thing about that is that makes them part of that CSR group and then you can then track all of their individual statistics, uh, as, as you'll see in just a few more minutes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dive into the actual system itself. Uh, the first thing I wanna show you is the Office Manager login. So this is our phone system, so I don't get in trouble for showing somebody's you know, customer system. Um, I'm logged in now. Uh, this is the home screen. So the first thing you see with the Office Manager login is these are the active calls. And then you can, actually, you can actually listen to the active calls um, from right here. Again, this is not call center management. That you, well, I'm going to show you a little bit of different approach on that. Um, but you can see the calls here. And then it says current meetings. Uh, one of the nice features of this system is this webinar that we're actually on, this video conferencing system we're using right now is part of our phone system. Um, and so you can see that you can also manage this, uh, the, the meetings within the phone system. And I can see you know, the duration, um, I can mute whatever. I don't know why I would, would jump into somebody's call and mute them, but I could. Um, so you can actually see that going on. And then you kind of have a, a, a system snapshot. Um, you can see users, register devices, total devices. You have this little info pop-up uh, that tells you all those. Uh, and then it also gives you, you know, daily stats. So this is where we're at right now. So I know right now we have one active call how many calls I've had today, how many minutes, um, no text, how many video meetings, we've had 15. About 13 of those were me practicing <laughs> this morning. Um, I'm glad I don't have to pay for them. Uh, this month, you got total minutes, and then also previous month. So it's a great little snapshot. Uh, and then scrolling down, you can see some just different statistics. I can see call volume, or I can see peak active calls, or I can see total minutes. I can choose by day or hour. I can choose by you know, the type of call. I can zoom you know, one week, one month, and then I can also use this little slider. So again, this is just a quick kind of snap view, and then I can, I can print it um, as well. So this is the main login screen for the uh, office uh, manager login. Then if I go to the user screen. So again, I think some, for those of you that are used to managing within the Altidus system, I think you really see uh, enjoy the benefits here. So here's all of my 
my uh, users here. Uh, I can click here and I can edit. Um, or I can also click here where it says edit. And then I can choose a specific thing to edit. But if I just click here, then you can see um, you know, these are all the things that I can edit very quickly. I can make sure they're in the audio library or they listen to the directory. Do I want their calls recorded? So you can set the recording based on user. Um, I can go into answering rules uh, and establish that um, and their default rule. You can add answering rules, uh, which is very simple to do. Um, you know, so holiday, Monday through Friday. So each user can have these individual settings as well. So, um, you know, you can set one, you could create one called, you know, out of town, and then you can just say, hey, I'm out of town. Um, and uh, you can ch change them and make them uh, very, uh, very easily. Uh, you can set to do not disturb, and you can also set uh, call screening. And here's where you can also set your ring options. Uh, ring all users' phones, um, answer confirmation. That means if somebody calls you from outside the company, you have to press a one. Wouldn't recommend that. We've had a couple of people try it, and it was uh, kind of a disaster. <laughs> so, but it's certainly an option if that's what you would, would like to do. Um, and then also on the voicemail side, um, you can, uh, again, manage the voicemail, all of these different settings. And I don't want to read through every single one because we'll be here all day. Uh, but, you, you know, you get the idea how easy it is to manage it. Uh, phones. Uh, she, she does not have a phone. I'm going to show you this with the user that has the phone. And then advanced options. Again, you can go in and you can have it set a welcome email. So when you create a new extension, it automatically sends them an email, uh, you know, those type of things. So again, user management is very easy um, from this one screen. And I'm going to pull up. Again, it's very easy to find a user as well. Uh, you can search. And I'm going to click here. And I'm going to go back to phones. So you can see, there's, again, you have multiple devices you can be logged into. Um, the other nice thing about this is you can actually configure the phones directly from here. You can customize the buttons on the phone. Uh, your user can do the same thing on their own phone. Uh, you can create templates. So if you have to, you know, if you buy a company and, and you want to set up 10 new phones, of course, we do all this for you well, anytime you want us to. Um, but it gives you the flexibility to do that. I can go into here. I can choose what buttons do what. Um, and again, I can do this on an individual basis. I can create a template and then your individual employees also can do this themselves. So uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice feature. All right. And then uh, we're going to go into the conferences. So a lot of people have gotten away from good old fashioned conference calls. They, they're, everybody's using the web meeting kind of thing now. But a nice feature with this is every single user can have their own uh, conference bridge. So you don't need to share like, a you know, uh, I know with Altogen, you have to have that conference bridge you pay for, and then you have to kind of schedule around it and share it. Well, here, everybody can have their own. Uh, what we do is we have one number for the entire company, and then each, uh, each employee has a conference extension. So you can set up your own conference call whenever you want. Don't have to worry about sharing. Give them your extension. They dial the number. They put in your extension, and then you have a conference call going on. Uh, it's really simple. Um, auto attendance, and I'm, I'm going to probably get Mike to... Uh, Jump in here when I'm done to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, so with auto attendance, you can see we, we only have a couple. We don't have many. Um, but the nice thing about auto attendance is, is uh, you know, we can, you can create as many as you want. They're very easy to create. Um, you name it, you create the extension, you select the time frame, a couple other steps. But they're very easy to manage. You can edit them. You can get rid of them. Uh, and again, compared to the Altengen system, it's a, it's a little tougher. Uh, so, Mike, is there anything in this particular section uh, that I have overlooked? Um, specifically with auto attendance, one of the things we used to get asked a lot of times with Altogen, you know, people would have uh, so many different what we call phrase numbers, and they would be associated with their existing auto attendance. They would ask us, you know, what phrase is associated with the holiday? What recording is set up for our night uh, auto attendance? Uh, with this system, you know, as Raymond kind of showed you, everything is listed here on the screen. If you want to take a listen to any of your recordings, you can just click on the little play button. It'll play what's associated with that auto attendant. Uh, once he goes into the auto attendant programming, you'll be able to see how easy it is to change those uh, those greetings. So if you're, you know, going to have a company meeting and you want to record an auto attendant, you can do it on the fly. You can use our text-to-speech feature, which we'll also get into in a minute. 
Um, so it's all very user friendly compared to what you guys are doing currently with Altigen. Thank you, Mike. That's why I ask you. <laughs> Great answer. Uh, call queues. Um, and again, as you can see, again, very similar. It's very easy to get to the call queues. They're right here. Um, you can edit the queue. Um, you can determine the routing of the queue right here on the fly, whether you want it round robin, ring all, linear hunt, um, all of these different options. Do you want the calls recorded for this queue? Um, Pre-queue options, you know, require agents in the queue? Do you require a um, message on hold before the caller gets connected? You can set how long you want the uh, wait and the queue length for each queue right here very simply. Uh, and then, you know, the timeout, that's seconds. So it rings for five seconds before it assumes that the uh, agent's not going to answer. You can choose to have your agents logged out if they miss a call uh, and different, you know, options and also with SMS as well. So um, again, very easy to see, very easy to get to. Uh, and then again, I can actually, from here, I can actually also edit the agents in the queue. You can, act, you can edit the agents uh, in the queues from multiple places. But so it kind of makes sense if you say, oh, I'm going to go work on the queue. I just go to the queue section, and then I can also edit the agents instead of having to go to queues over here and agents over here. Uh, and everything kind of flows that way through this system and kind of ties together. It makes a lot of sense that way. Um, so this is the same thing a call center supervisor can do as well with their login. Uh, with each agent, you can establish, you know, wrap up time. Uh, if you want old school where they say, hold on a minute, I got to grab the phone and they answer the other person say, hold on and go back to the original one. You can do that. Um, you can, you can actually log them out. So another nice thing about this, an employee didn't log out and you want to log them out. It's very easy to go in and do that. Um, uh, and again, you can do this from multiple places. And then again, you've got the uh, edit the queue. Uh, you can edit the music on hold from here, um, which is up here as well. Again, multiple ways to get to the same thing, which makes it nice. Um, time frames. Uh, you know, it, it, the nice thing about these are with the alternate system, uh, you can only have one per day. So if you're going to be closed for two days for an annual meeting, you have to create one for both days and you have to do it for the whole day. Um, here you can create them multiple, they're very easy, uh, and you can choose ranges. And then you can also choose specific time frames. So you can say, I want my, I want this holiday auto attendant to go from eight to five, or from, you know, let's say you're just going to close from 12 to five on Christmas Eve. So you can just make it 12 to five instead of having to do the whole day. Uh, very simple, simple to add and very simple to manage. Um, and then you've got your music on hold, message on hold. Um, you know, and we have one right here. Uh, and again, very easy to edit. Um, and then very easy to add. It's a WAV file. So you just record the, uh, the uh, call or the message, upload it to the system, name it, and then you can also toggle through. Um, and uh, Mike can correct me, but I think you can actually have different messages um, and for different cues and different things like that. Is that right, Mike? Sure. You could have a music on hold file for each individual cue. So if you wanted uh, some information to play while a caller's on hold for one specific queue, you can do that. You can have music on hold for each individual user. So if you have maybe two or three users who operate under a different company, you can have different music on hold for those people as well. Okay. And uh, I, can, you, can you also do it based on like a tracking number if an individual call comes in? If it goes to a specific um, queue? I mean, I guess you would have to set up a specific queue for that one number, wouldn't you? Correct. That's what you'd have okay. to do. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, and then inventory, we kind of got a sneak peek in inventory when we were messing with the phone before, but we did it through the agent edit, right? We were able to go into the agent and edit their phone, but I can also edit their phone uh, through the inventory screen. And then I can see all of the, all of the different phones in the system. I can, I can, you know, import a list. I can export. Uh, and again, the snap builders would allow you to program those phones. Um, really nice thing about this. What I like about it is, if you want a system inventory, um, it takes a lot of time and effort to get one. Uh, it took, what, about five, five seconds, I think. Uh, now I have a system inventory. I have a spreadsheet that lists, uh, well, where'd it go? What happened? It opened some, there it comes, okay. Uh, lists all your phones, all your extensions, what devices are assigned to who. Uh, very quickly, very easily, you can sort it, you know, organize it. Uh, it's a very easy way to get a system inventory compared to what I've seen. So uh, that's a really nice feature as well. Um, and then the last thing we're going to talk about with the office manager uh, login is the call history. Um, 
And uh, so again, you know, with the office manager login, I could see the call history for the entire company. With the call center supervisor login, the call center supervisor can see the entire, uh, all the call history for the people in the call queue. Okay, similar, similar uh, access. Um, so this is every single call coming in. You can see uh, the newer ones, it takes a minute or two for the re recording to come through. Um, this one's recorded. You can download it to email it to somebody. Um, you can trace it, which uh, I don't know exactly what that does. It creates these cool looking lines that mean nothing to me. Not probably Mike knows what it means, but uh, uh, we got some big time IT people. They can probably figure that out. Um, but you can also trace it. Uh, the other nice thing about this is you can uh, filter it with, with uh, you know, sort it by name, by date, by user, by department, by site. It goes back 30 days. Um, and then you can also select, do I just want to see inbound, outbound? So sometimes, you know, as managers, you have to track down a call. Uh, it's so easy to track down a call in this system. Um, this is one way to do it. Um, and then also, if you want to uh, set up uh, automatic reports, um, it, you can do that as well. So if you use the CDR search in Altigen, kind of think about that. Um, and, and, you know, you can name it. You can choose a frequency. You can do it daily. You can make it custom. If you want to do custom, uh, you can pick any of these periods um, from, from one minute up to a month. Um, you can choose the time. Uh, you can also have it run an export. Uh, and then what do you want it to do after it's completed? I mean, you can actually run it now. So once you save this, it'll run it for you instantly. And then you can also have, you know, once it's done, do you want it to send you a report in the email or do you want to do these different features as well? And then you can send it to multiple uh, people. So, uh, and then, you know, I got to put that in there. I'm not going to do it because it's take time. But so you can see this is a very robust CDR search, automated, much easier. Again, all in the same place. No separate login. You're all right here. All right. So, so Mike, uh, did, before we get out of this section, is there anything on, on the call of the office manager login that uh, you think we need to show everybody? Um, no, maybe just uh, step back to the call cues for a second. I think one of the things that, you know, okay. you definitely mentioned it, but I think it's worth kind of repeating is the callback from queue. Uh, this is something that Altigen had, but, you know, it was a, there was a cost associated with this feature. So this is the feature that would allow a customer to, instead of waiting in queue for an agent to answer the call, to choose the option of receiving the callback. They could hang up at that point. The system will maintain their place in queue until an agent becomes available. At that time, it'll call the agent, tell them that they have a callback pending, then it'll call the customer back and connect the two together. Uh, there is no additional charge for this. It is a fil uh, feature that is turnkey, so it's available to you uh, right out of the gate. So I just kind of wanted to expand on that. I know it was a question in the chat, but it's also, like I said, it's, it's you know such a popular feature that it's kind of bears repeating and digging into a little bit. Okay, good. I'm glad uh, yeah. I'm glad you, you you covered that. All right, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna say bye bye to the uh, uh, office manager, and then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the uh, call center supervisor login. So I'm logged in as a call center supervisor. Again, this is our company. Um, and this is what I see when I log in. So the first thing I see is my call queues. Uh, we are, right now we have no phone calls. Um, I can see my agents. And again, we talked about different ways to get to places. As a call center supervisor, you have the ability to edit the agents as well. You can do it from here. Um, and again, it's the same thing we saw before, the wrap up time, the simultaneous calls, calls all those type of things. Um, I can see the calls here if we have uh, when we have a live, we have some calls coming in that aren't coming in through queues. And this is where you can use the listen hold uh, barge. I'm not actually going to listen, but I'm going to start the process. Um, so I click that and then here's where I can join the call uh, or I can whisper, um, which I'm not going to do. Uh, but now it's calling my phone because that's how it works. So let me hang that up. Somewhere dismiss. There we go. Um, okay, so the, when you do that, it'll call your phone. Um, now, all of our voicemails in the system are transcribed. So when, when you know a lot of phone systems will send you the recording of your voicemail. We send you the recording of the voicemail, but we also transcribe the voicemail in the body of the email. So instead of having to sit there and listen to it, you can actually read it. So what's going to happen now is since I started the listening process and I ignored the call, it's going to send me a voicemail. 
So I hope that's not a really long call because I'm going to have a really long uh, email to read uh, with the subscription. But what's, what's, what I like about that, though, from a call center manager feature, let's say you want to sample some calls, but you don't want to sit here right now and spend an hour listening to calls. You can just go through and do that for a few different calls, and then later you can go back and read the transcript. Right. Um, and it does a pretty good job of transcribing them. So it's a lot easier way to kind of uh, screen calls and have to sit there and listen to a five minute call. Uh, you can also listen to it. But if you read through it, it kind of gives you an idea. You know, if you see something that makes you go, oh, wait a minute, and then you can jump in and listen. Uh, so I really like that feature as well. Um, so right here, the first thing we see is this kind of a instant dashboard. I don't know. That I'm, I'm sure there's a system name for it. Um, uh, and this shows you call waiting, uh, average wait time average hold time, handling time, that's the total time, including disposition time, uh, service level, calls answered, uh, abandon rate, and then call volume, and then abandoned calls. So you notice there's some green and there's some red. So those may look really bad, because red's bad, of course, but <clears throat> I use this for demos all the time. So the nice thing about this is it's customizable. You can't change what you see. I mean, the, the quantity of the eight items you can see but you can choose to see some or all of them. So if I just turn them off, then I'm not seeing them all. Um, and then you also have complete control of your thresholds. So you'll notice that that abandon rate, that abandon uh, is uh, red uh, because I have it at 10, but if I change it to 52 and I save it, um, woohoo, it's green now. So uh, this is based on your threshold. <clears throat> so you decide what you wanna see. And it goes from dark green to light green to yellow uh, I think there's even like a golden rod in there somewhere and then red. So I really like this because as soon as you log in as the call center supervisor, you get a very quick idea of how you're doing right now for the day. Um, and then also over here, you can see your agents. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to try to find somebody that's really, you know, more of an actual CSR type person so we can get some good looks. Okay, here's Stacy. So I click here and uh, I can see Stacy's performance for the day. Uh, this is what she's done so far how many calls, those kind of things. She can also see the same exact thing when she logs into her own profile. She can see the same stats for herself. And a nice little graphical presentation of it as well. Um, then I can also go here and I can see her queue priorities. So I can change her priority in the queue from here. There's a couple ways to do that. So if I want Stacy to, I don't know, make uh, outbound calls, call in termite renewals, but I still want her to pick up if, if somebody's been in the queue a while, I can change her priority and move her down, you know, all the way down to number uh, well, 99. Um, so you can do that very easily. You can see her status right here as well. And if she's actually on a call right now, I can also listen to the call from here. So I can listen to any call that's live here, but I can also listen to a specific call for an agent if they're on the phone at that time. Um, so that's there, you know, and I'm going to show you this part here too. Uh, so reports. I don't think call center reports are usually kind of really important in the call center environment, but just in case they are for you, uh, I think you're gonna like what you see. Uh, the first thing is these are kind of what we call our on-demand reports. Uh, you could choose queue stats, agent stats, agent availability, dial number stats, and abandoned calls. And for those of you that are using all T reports, please note I did not have to log into a separate server. Um, so here's all of my reports. Um, I can then choose my time frame. Go to 5 p.m. And then these are the stats. So these stats are, you know, call volume, calls handled, calls offered. You can determine which stats you want to see on any given report. So you can run a monster report with everything. Uh, you can run a specific report with just a few things. Uh, that's totally up to you. Once you change that, it automatically readjusts. Um, so that's Q stats. I can also do the same thing for agent stats. Of course, the stats you can see change um, based on you know what what you're looking at. Agent stats are different than Q stats, um, but I can see the agent stats and the Q stats. Um, I can see agent availability. Uh, you know, I can see who, you know, when they've logged in, when they've logged out, are they logging out for lunch like they're supposed to? Uh, Nick had a meeting. Um, dialed number stats. So if you have somebody that makes a lot of outbound calls, um, you can manage that as well. And then the nice thing about this is you also have an abandoned call report. Um, very simple, very easy to get that. And again, you can do it for all queues or you can choose, you know, I just want to see the calls that came into my customer service queue that were abandoned. 
what I really like about this is you can see the times, right? So you figure if somebody hangs up within eight seconds, they probably weren't a legitimate call. But this one, they probably we got to figure out what happened there because that person was on hold for 31 seconds before they hang out, hung up. Uh, so it's very easy to uh, get that information with this uh, kind of on-demand reporting. Um, you can also uh, email reports. So if you want your reports automated, uh, this is where you start. You have you know four different types of reports. You can do a summary. You can do reports just for the call queue, just for the agent. You can do them monthly, weekly, daily, uh, and then you can set the time. So the summary report um, shows you, you can choose four of each of these statistics out of each of these groups. So on one report, I can get call stats, I can get agent stats, and I can get dialed number stats. I can send them to multiple people, and then I can also attach it to the CSV. Uh, so again, compared to all two reports, you can see you can see multiple items, and you can create, with, with all of these variables, being able to choose four at a time, you can create reports to where you can pretty much see everything, whereas with all two reports, you know, you do have to have, sometimes have to run multiple reports and kind of meld them together, right? Um, so that's a, that's a really great feature where you can set those up. You can have those emailed to you automatically. Um, and then the other thing I want to show you from here is what we call Snap Analytics. This is kind of our, uh, uh, I like to say dashboard, but I don't think it's really not a dashboard. Mike has a better term for it. Um, but uh, this shows you, uh, you know, you can see all of the features. It's totally customizable. This is like a stock one that comes with the system. There's a couple of stock ones. You can, you can see everything here. This can be projected to uh, an altern alternate screen, kind of like Max Insight, put on a big monitor. Uh, you can actually have the employees be able to see now, and again, if everybody's in the same room, uh, the status of all the other employees, uh, you can set the, uh, the, how you want it to work. Um, you can, whether you want it to actually have an alert, you can actually have an alert. So uh, if you reach a certain stat, like if, you can set it, say if more than two people are in, are in the queue, I want, it to, I want it to make a noise. So uh, it's similar to Max Insight. The advantage is it's very customizable and you can create multiple boards and you can share them. Um, it's very easy to create a board. Uh, it uses cards. Um, it's kind of like Trello. I think that's what the software has been a long time, but it's very similar to Trello. Uh, you choose a card, and then you choose the data that you want to see on that card. Um, you know, I call cues, different things, and I'm just going to do it real quick. Um, and bam, I've created a card on my board. So it's very flexible, uh, very easy to control. So as a call center manager, uh, supervisor, you have the ability to do this as well. Right. Um, agents, again, a, a lot of the functionality that I showed you for the office manager, you have the same capability with the office manager, but only for people that are actually call center agents, as you see here. Uh, the masquerade feature is really nice. Uh, I'm going to pull up uh, Stacy again. And a lot of you have probably spoken with Stacy, so now you get to see kind of the behind the scenes. Uh, but I'm going to masquerade here. And so as an agent, as a CSR uh, extension agent, this is what your, your employees would see when they log in. They see their performance. Uh, they can see their call history. And they can see the queues that they're in. Um, and uh, this is how they log in and out. This is how they change their status. And this is Stacy getting a phone call, which we will not mess with. Uh, she answered it quickly, too. Um, and then these are the different uh, ways they can you know, set their, uh, their activity. Um, you can disposition within this phone system. Uh, once the call ends, you come here. Uh, you can select your disposition. You have total control over what that disposition is. It's customizable. Um, and then once you run through these st steps, you can actually run reports based on the disposition of the calls. Um, the nice thing about this masquerade as well, if you've got remote employees or even if they're in the same building, you want to train them. Very easy to do this. If they're having problems with something, you can just jump right in. And you can see exactly what they see. You can walk them through it. You can help them with it. Um, so as a call center manager, uh, supervisor, it, it's, it's a great way to be able to work with your employees. But just very quickly, you know, this is how kind of how they, this is their messages here. Um, this is their contacts, answering rules, right? You know, how they want their phones answered. She has two different devices ringing at the same time. Um, time frames phone so they can program like we mentioned they can program their own phone with the snap builder feature um, and then their music on hold uh, 
she doesn't have any settings. Um, and, and Mike, you had mentioned when you and I were talking earlier about the voice for text, uh, I'm sorry, text to speech. Um, and I think you might have mentioned that a minute ago, but did you want to elaborate on, it, on that at all? Yeah, so for you know anybody who doesn't want to record their voicemail greeting, they don't like the sound of their voice, or maybe you're doing it for somebody as an admin, uh, you can use the text-to-speech feature, so you can type in the greeting. The system will play it back to you in up to 13 voices. That also applies to auto attendance. So if you need an auto attendant greeting in a pinch, maybe for a meeting or for a holiday, you can type that greeting up. You can pick up to 13 different voices, and you can have the system play it back in one of those voices. Um, we've gotten a lot of positive feedback on it. It's about, I think I see three weeks since we rolled that out, and a lot of positive feedback. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit of tweaking and adjusting to the way you type the actual greeting to have it sound uh, more natural, but overall I think it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually a really nice feature, and you can see it's very easy for them to make, a, make their own uh, greeting. Um, they can just uh, play it, and again, like Mike said, uh, you can you click a box and then you just type in what you want it to say and it just does it. Uh, and then there's multiple voices. I think there's like 12 options uh, that you can actually uh, choose from, you know, with different different uh, male female uh, voices. So um, so I'm going to end the masquerade here. Uh, now the other uh, nice advantage with the call center supervisor is uh, call queues. So uh, you can see all the call queues. Very easy to uh, see if we had any calls. You can see the callers. Uh, it's also very easy to manage the queues from right here as well, just like you could through the uh, office manager. And also you can manage your agents from here as well. Um, another place that you can get to your agents and uh, manage their you know, kind of setup as well within the queue. And, and we talked about the music on hold, it's kind of the same, and then the call history. So with the call history, um, you can see all of it, it's loading up here. You can see all the calls that have come in and out through your call center. Um, kind of the same filters you can export, you can do the same things we talked about on the, uh, the Office Manager login. Um, so uh, Mike, is there anything else that I need to show them for the call center supervisor? I would say the one thing to just to mention, if you click on your name on the top right hand side, Raymond, if you're a call center supervisor, you can switch from the call center supervisor view that we're looking at now to your own account, which will you know, again, if you're also an agent, you also need to log into a queue, take a call, uh, look at your own statistics individually, uh, you just pull up your account and you'll be able to do that. And then when you want to go back to the call center settings, just click on the manage call center and it'll take you back there. Um, okay. And, and then the also, thing, I, uh, so go ahead, go ahead. One sorry. more thing, Raymond. So one of the other things I know Raymond mentioned a bunch of times, the ability to listen to calls as a call center su supervisor or as an office manager, admin, et cetera. Um, once you're listening to a call, and I think you mentioned this, Raymond, you also have the ability to jump in and whisper to your agent. So if you're coaching somebody, you can whisper in their ear without the caller hearing it. Or if you need to jump into the call, maybe kind of save the day, things aren't going so well, you can join the call, which is essentially going to create a conference call between uh, all parties. Okay. And the other thing I did not show you, and this is the same as uh, the same thing with your call center agent as and with your own login, is this is where you can use our uh, our mobile uh, soft phone. So if you want to use the soft phone, um, you, it's Snap Mobile, Snap Mobile Web. So this is the actual soft phone that your agents would use. Um, and again, the window doesn't have to be up. Uh, but if this is what they're going to use, they have access to all the same things: their call history, their voicemail, their chat. Um, if they want to make a call. Uh, they, there's your dialer. Depending on the software integration you have with us, uh, some of the software integrations within the pest control software, you can actually click on the customer's phone number, and it just makes the call for you. Um, and then, so you can see, uh, you know, this is basically the soft phone, how it works, uh, and, and it gives you all the capabilities. The other nice thing is here's all your fellow employees, uh, and you can see their status. Uh, so that means that Jamie's available for phone and for SMS. So I can send him a message, this, this version of Jamie. Uh, the other version of Jamie, I'm not sure about. But you can see that version of Jim is just uh, unavailable by phone, but I can send him a message. So that's a really nice thing as well, to make it easy to communicate with your fellow employees. Um, and then for our video conferencing that we talked about, this is where you actually would utilize that as well. And uh, I'm pleased to announce that between now and the end of the year, we're going to make video conferencing free for all of our customers. So 
Um, we're just going to turn it on. Uh, you guys can use it. Of course, you have to be on this system. Uh, you can use it, uh, get to know it. Uh, and then if you like it at the end of the year, uh, we're going to circle back around. And uh, it's, you know, the basic uh, conference co uh, call feature is $295 a, a user. Not everybody in your company needs the ability to do it. But if you compare that to, let's say, uh, log me in or go to meet, not log me in, sorry, go to meeting, uh, you know, you can have a whole lot of people running meetings all the time for a whole lot less. So that is something that we're going to turn on uh, free for the rest of the year. All right. Uh, okay. I think that pretty much covers it. Um, Mike, any, any final thoughts on this uh, demo, um, from the actual system demo? Yeah, I think one of the things that you touched on as well, but it, it's definitely important enough to bring up again, is just the ability for all these different agents or users to be able to have multiple devices that they can quickly and easily switch between or use simultaneously, especially with everyone, you know, working from home, things like that. You can be logged in as an agent to the smartphone app if you need to, or your desk phone or your web phone, which is the soft phone. You can have them all logged in simultaneously. That way, if you need to get up and walk away for a second, you can still take your calls. With Altogen, if you guys remember, you know, it was only one device at a time. So if you were an agent, trying to log into a group from your smartphone was really difficult on Max Mobile. Uh, you could only use Max Mobile or the desk phone. You couldn't use them both simultaneously. Same thing with IP Talk soft phone. Uh, so this really gives you um, maximum flexibility when it comes to your different devices. So yeah. just thought that's worth mentioning. Definitely worth repeating. Definitely. So, um, all right. So we're going to come back here and um, current play. Uh, all right, then thanks again for those of you who are still here. Everybody have a great rest of the day. We really appreciate your attendance. I hope this was helpful and informative. Uh, and uh, thank you. Thank you for being a customer. We truly, sincerely appreciate your business.